It didn't cost a lot of money and it didn't get a lot of attention, but a campaign to prevent suicides in the BART system is having a positive impact. Chris Ayers explains. You can't miss them when you board a train emblazoned on billboards and the backs of tickets. A message to people thinking of suicide on BART. If you're struggling emotionally, call. It is uh, intended to be helpful to people who are considering suicide. And to those around them. We told you about the campaign last year. Now BART says the numbers are in, and this year, suicides are down 35 percent from 2015. And we get calls from people who say, I saw your phone number on my BART ticket. This year, the number of BART-related calls to the crisis hotline are projected to more than double over last year. But the billboards and BART tickets aren't the only thing driving the drop in the number of deaths. BART staff are also being trained in how to step in before a suicide. Station agents now carry these wallet-sized cards, and they recently underwent training on how to talk to someone in distress. Approach them slowly and calmly with your arms down. Ask, can you take a step back for me? Offer the lifeline number. We're probably the experts. Golden Gate Bridge police are pioneers in their own unique suicide prevention training. It's more intense. And we'll go out in the field, even on the sidewalk or, or areas around the bridge, and we'll have role players actually go through uh, scenarios that we've come across. They say what they're doing is working. Even though there have been 32 confirmed suicides this year, Bridge Police have interrupted 242 others. Back at BART, Eve says she's proud of the drop in suicides, but believes the signs are just the first step. A final step would be something like a barrier. Kristen Ayers on the Night Beat.